kidney failure. More than 100,000 of them are on the kidney transplant list. And the wait for these patients can be grueling, which is why a Fort Lauderdale woman decided to take things into her own hands in hopes of improving her odds. Tonight, Local 10 Medical Specialist Christy Kruger has the story of how she succeeded with a message in a bottle. For two long decades, Joyce Griffin struggled with kidney problems. Three years ago, when it became clear she'd need a transplant, Joyce put pen to paper in a plea for help. Just curious as to how far this will go. She put her message in a bottle, tossing it out to sea with very high hopes. That someone will find a bottle, and hopefully someone that knew someone that wanted to be a donor, or something, I don't know, might happen, and they were a donor. Three months later, her message was found by a friend of a transplant nurse who works at the Cleveland Clinic, Florida. My name is Mrs. J. Griffin. I am in need of a kidney transplant. Somebody, please help me. My time is running out. The next thing she knew, someone from right here at Cleveland Clinic, Florida, was calling her to make an appointment. And when I did go in to my appointment, everyone on the floor knew of me. It feels pretty amazing to know the, you know, the power of anyone that you may know, how we're all connected somehow. We were able to get her here, get her listed, and, you know, we got her organ. While kidney transplant surgery is less complicated, those in need typically spend four to five years on a wait list, during which time they often wind up on dialysis. When we advise people if their kidney function get them worse and we assume that they're going to get into dialysis, they can get listed and they can get some time on the list and that can give them more opportunity to get transplant. Since her transplant, Joyce is enjoying the freedom to live a normal life, free from weekly dialysis sessions. This is in a bottle of work. From kidney clinic, kidney transplant. On Dania Beach, I'm Christy Krueger, Local 10 News. Love that story. <laughs> <laughs>